All right, your phonics lesson this week is on compound words. Now that's when we have two or more words that we put together to make a new word. What you are probably most familiar with is words like baseball, where I took base and ball, put them actually together to make one new word. But you can also have other types of words that are considered compound words. Something like far off. I might say, oh, that school in the distance is really far off. Okay, I'm taking two new words. I'm not putting them together together. I am putting a hyphen in between them, but it's still considered a compound word. Or something like polar bear. It's actually two separate words, and they stay as two separate words, but it's kind of like they're one idea that I made by putting these two words next to each other, essentially. We can say they're together, even if it's not one word exactly. The type you're probably most familiar with, that where we put them together together, is called a closed compound word. So words like birthday or cowboy, raincoat. Those are all examples of closed compound words because there's no space, they're just one word put together. Okay, the day of my birth, my birthday. Okay, cowboys would round up cattle, so they were literally, they would take care of cows. They were boys that would take care of cows. Then a raincoat, a coat I wear in the rain. Those are closed. We can have hyphenated compound words like life size or up to date or ready made. Oh, R E. Now, often but not always. Hyphenated ones are where we have two adjectives that we put together to make a new phrase or new word, and we hyphenate those ones. Again, it's not always two adjectives. Often it is. And the last type are open compound words. So that's more where I just get a phrase or an idea, like high school. Okay, still two words but we consider it a, comp a compound word because it's like one idea. Living room. Okay, still considered compound, even though it's two words, and coffee mug. Now, oftentimes we get this when we take an adjective and we combine it with a noun, an adjective plus a noun gets us our open compound word. I wouldn't hyphenate it. High is an adjective, school is a noun. Living is an adjective, and room is a noun. So again, not always, because coffee is a noun and mug is a noun, but um, just sort of in general. There's not like, this is always when you hyphenate. This is always when you don't, but um, gives us an idea. I will say that when we have those hyphenated compound words, life size, up to date, ready made, those are all adjectives. I would describe something as life size. I would describe um, something as ready made if it came ready to go. Whereas these are all nouns, okay? Just as a whole, like high school, that's a noun, it's a place. Living room is a place. Coffee mug, that's a thing. I do want to point out that on your worksheet at the bottom, you're picking three of the words and defining them. You are not um, underlining anything. You're still reading them out loud and timing yourself, seeing how many you can read in one minute, but then you're picking three of the words telling me what they mean, okay? I'm not going to read these ones for you. If you want um, help reading them, you can either use the text-to-speech, or I'm happy to help you if you're not sure how to say any of them. All right, let me know if you have questions. Good luck.